Okay, welcome back to module five. This is our final episode, our final module in this class, Religion 3292, Politics and Religion in a Global Context. I hope you've enjoyed this class as much as I have. Uh, always uh, one of the favorite things uh, for me is interacting with you. And again, as we wrap up this week and you've got your project, uh, know that I will do my best to be very attentive. If you have any issues whatsoever, email me, call me, text me, and um, I'll be glad to help you in any way that I can. Um, all right, let's wrap this thing up. So we're in our fifth module. In module one, we dealt with uh, politics and religion, and in particular, uh, looking at politicized religions, and we dealt with some key terms, uh, so forth and so on. Module two, we began to focus on politicized religions and their expression, expressions uh, in a certain geopolitical context, and therefore we looked at Sunni Islam through Saudi Arabia and uh, Egypt and then Turkey. Then in module three, we dealt with Shia Islam and the clash of civilizations there in Iraq. And we talked about uh, Iran and Iraq. And uh, we talked about uh, the theocratic government in Iran. Uh, and we talked about the caliphate, uh, uh, ISIL's caliphate in Iraq and, and, and in Syria. And so now uh, uh, we move into module four. And at that point, we talked about what it means to interpret Judaism through a Zionistic lens. And as we come to this week, we're dealing with, in Module 5, uh, Christianity. All right? Now, that's kind of shocking to other people, especially Christians in America. Because, and I hear this, uh, if I told you I hear, heard it every day, that's ridiculous. But I hear it again and again, especially here in East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Uh, there are many people here who are already predisposed against Muslims and Islam in any form or fashion. And so uh, it's very easy for them to be biased and prejudiced. And of course, a lot of times, the only thing that they see on the news uh, will be violence at the hands of extremists. And so I deal with a lot of people who are quite biased and prejudiced against Islam. And uh, how many times have I heard people say, well, Islam is a violent religion? Okay, to a degree, I would agree with that. But remember, we're really not talking about the religion. We're talking about the interpretation of the religion. We're really not, in many regards, talking about the religious text. We've been reading the Quran for the last two weeks. We're not really talking about the religious text. Are there problems there? Yes, there are. There are also problems in the Hebrew Bible, in the Christian Old Testament. And so we're not talking about religious texts. We're talking about the interpretation of religious text. So I've got so many people who will say, well, look, Islam is a violent religion. Well, my word to us this week is, so is Christianity in its certain interpretations. All right? Now, in particular, we are going to look at the KKK. Some people are absolutely shocked, like, well, they're not Christian. Well, you're going to go on uh, the Internet, look on uh, their website. Uh, you're going to watch the film, The Ghost of Mississippi. Uh, you're going to see that the KKK is in all their violence and all their extremism, they are deeply Christian. Now, I totally disagree with that. So if someone in Saudi Arabia, if a Muslim in Saudi Arabia uh, uh, saw uh, the, the website KKK or the Ghost of Mississippi and they said, ah, that's what it means to be a Christian, I would be very offended and I would totally disagree with that. But I want you to see that like with almost every other religion, there can be a militant, violent, literalist interpretation and expression. Uh, the same goes for Christianity. And what we're seeing in America today, and I know it's not the majority, but there are a lot of right-wing, uh, violent, extremist, even apocalyptic Christians uh, who uh, live, if you will, right here in our midst. In fact, it was only three or four years ago that I was driving home from uh, King one day, and there was a rally uh, of uh, the KKK in downtown Bristol. And uh, it really made me upset. Of course, we live in America. We believe in the uh, freedom of expression. And so there's not much that we can do. But I, I, I totally disagree with that. I think what I find most disconcerting is it is based 
uh, they base themselves on Christian interpretation. In fact, they actually believe, just like Osama bin Laden in Islam, they actually believe their interpretation is the correct and the traditional interpretation. All right, so this week we're going to wrap up this class uh, by looking at, again, uh, extremist interpretation, this time of Christianity. And in particular, we're going to look at uh, the KKK, which uh, uses the scriptures and tradition uh, in racism. But we're also going to look at the Branch Davidians. And uh, uh, we've got you looking at a documentary there. And uh, if you will, I want you to think of it in terms like this. When we look at the KKK, uh, basically, we're looking at a vital interpretation. When we look at the Branch Davidians, again, they consider themselves Christians. We're not only looking at a violent expression, we're looking at an apocalyptic expression. And I think this is very important, especially in 2015, for us to know about ourselves and to know that uh, this is out there in Christianity, that not only do we have extremism, fundamentalism, violence, but we also have apocalyptic thought that can go in some very uh, dangerous and damaging ways. So uh, again, if I can help you this week, send me an email. It's been a great privilege to be with you these five weeks. I'll see you on the internet.